Welcome to our channel. My name is Yvette and this is Tyler. Come along with us as we sail the high seas or hit the open road while we navigate and explore this beautiful planet our way. Hey, welcome back to another week on board Tootsie Marie. This week, we're exploring Georgetown. We're currently anchored in our favorite anchorage here, which is North Goat Key. We love it here because it's quiet. Although there is a nice community of boaters here, we like the privacy of this anchorage. We're bringing the dinghy to shore today so we can get some gasoline for the dinghy and also go to the grocery store for some fresh produce. This is where you dispose of your trash here. It's kind of the honor system. So you put the money through the window and leave your trash here. You gotta put a sticker on the phone. After dropping the groceries off at the boat, we took the dinghy to the boat store, which was a ways around the corner and tucked in the mangroves. Here in the Bahamas, sometimes they just have to make do with what they have. Here they're utilizing a half sunken barge to transfer rocks off of the floating barge so they can reload. So we found almost everything we needed at the boat store. Got a nice little haul. Kind of fun to explore new areas here on the Great Exuma Island. There's lots of activity here because there's also a boat yard and marina. And then of course the boat store that we just were at. On our way to the boat store, we saw what looked like a couple shipwrecks or abandoned boats. We decided we would check them out on our way back. Sad. Been there a while, look at the growth. Yeah. Wow. That's pretty wild, look at that thing. Look how sharp those bows are. Yeah, really, it must go real fast in its prime. Maybe it's not even sunk, actually. I don't think it's sunk. Well, in the back, it's, is it water? That's just the shape of it. No, look at the back. It's... Oh, yeah. Wow. So it's still floating. That's just how sharp it is. That's crazy. Power rental. Yikes. Electro bobbinage. Wind. Wow. 
and there's... No, it wasn't even soft. It just looks like it. It just looks like it. Look there at the winches. Oh, yeah. yeah. Huh. I mean, from a distance, I would have swore that thing was sunk. Oh, look at the back. The fiberglass. So this is the stuff that we got at the boat store, mostly just fishing lures. We got a new air horn, a new handheld VHF, and excited about this, we got some local honey. After all of that running around, we were excited to reconnect with some friends we made in Virginia when we were at the boatyard during the winter time. It was so nice to see them again, but in this kind of climate, with the beautiful water, the warm sun, and the soft sand. Andrea and Shane also have an online boat store called Cruising Solutions. So if you're looking for anything boat related, you should definitely check them out. I went ahead and added their link in the description. What a perfect way to spend our evening watching the sunset, catching up and laughing with new friends. This is hands down the busiest anchorage that we've come across in the Bahamas. And with that comes a strong cruising community full of fellowship and lots of scheduled events. Exuma Island and we are heading to Long Island. Our goal is to hit Calabash Bay which is about 25 or 30 nautical miles from here. We do have our poles in the water. I'd say we found a pretty good spot to anchor. Look at the color of this water. Stunning. The timing worked out perfect and we were able to share this beautiful anchorage with our friends Steph and Trav on Gypsy. We had some dinner, watched the sunset and played some cards. Thank you for following us on this journey. We look forward to seeing you next week.